How to become a successful human. Success is not difficult, at least from an intellectual standpoint. But from an emotional standpoint, it can be the hardest thing you will ever do. Why? Humans were calibrated in a very harsh and unforgiving environment. Let's think of this but only in terms of our hunger instinct. Food was always scarce, so whoever was motivated the most to get food tended to survive a little bit better. For example, imagine two tribes of people. Everything was the same except for their hunger instinct. One tribe was always super, super hungry. The other tribe, not so much. The super hungry tribe would always be motivated by their hunger to find something to eat. Because they tried more often, they would succeed more often. The not so hungry tribe wouldn't. So the always hungry tribe, because they were always out looking for food, would tend to over time out populate the not so hungry tribe until the not so hungry tribe just disappeared. So a strong, impossible to ignore hunger instinct was a fantastic survival strategy back in the day. To put this in a structural way, whoever had the strongest desire to get something that would sustain life, this person would survive compared to someone with a less strong desire to get that same thing. What is critically different about our super strong desires today versus back then was that back then our desires were significantly constrained by our environment. Always being hungry was fantastic when there were very few opportunities for food. Always being horny was fantastic when there were very few opportunities for having sex. Always being desperate for positive validation from your peers was fantastic back in the day when there were very few opportunities to get that positive validation from your peers. Always being desperate for any increase in social status was fantastic back in the day when there were very few opportunities to get increases in social status. Today, it's the opposite. Always being hungry when there are unlimited food opportunities is very, very dangerous. Always being horny or desperate for affection when there are so many opportunities is very, very dangerous. Always being desperate for social validation in the land of social media is very, very dangerous. Being completely and utterly driven by these basic urges back in the caveman days was perfect. But being blindly obedient to these basic desires today is a recipe for disaster. This is why the modern dichotomy exists. The things we want versus the things we know we should have. The things we want to do versus the things we know that we should do. The things that are good for us. The people we'd like to be with versus the people we know we should be with. When it comes to food, it's easy to see this. There's the food that tastes good and we want to eat this in abundance. Then there's the food that is healthy for us and we know we should eat this in moderation. Relationships are the same. There are people that make us feel really good in the short term. Then there are people that we know that are good for us in the long term. Physical behaviors are the same. There are things that make us feel good in the short term like sleeping in, waking and baking and playing video games all day long. Then there are things we know we should do like get up early and maybe do some exercise. Mental behaviors are the same. We can spend time doing things that are mentally easy and mentally pleasing like watching TV and wasting time on social media. Or there are things we know we should do, like make the decision to study algebra or practice learning skills that will be potentially profitable one day. Short-term pleasures generally don't lead to a successful life. On the other hand, short-term discomfort can lead to a very, very successful life. It's not a lot of fun studying mathematics every day, but having a high-paying job that commands a lot of respect is a very satisfying position to be in. Getting together with somebody that doesn't completely give you those thrills in the short term seems kind of boring. But being in a long-term relationship with somebody who really gets you through experience and somebody who will truly have your back when you need it is 
priceless. Nobody, and I mean nobody, enjoys waking up before sunrise. Nobody really looks forward to exercising at least the first few minutes. But having an attractive and healthy body is very, very valuable in many, many ways. Sure, it would be great if we could have our cake and eat it too. If we could be super lazy and have fitness model bodies. To be super lazy, never study, but have a highly paid STEM job. To only date people people that are good to go after a brief conversation and who will stick around and help us build a valuable life together. But these are all fantasies, time-wasting, life-consuming fantasies. So how do you build a successful life? Play the long game. Do things today not only to feel good today, but do things today that you know will build a much better future. It's not easy, which is why so few people can do this. But if you want to be successful in any endeavor, now you know how. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com.